In this video, we'll be looking at the MSP430 F5529 Launchpad by Texas Instruments, and we'll be also taking a look at Energia, which is an open source platform to use with this Launchpad. We'll start by unboxing this, and we see this pamphlet right here, which is actually very useful because it shows the different numbers that you could use to program each individual pin, and you'll actually need that later on when programming. And over here is the launch pad itself, and then here is the USB cable. This launch pad is actually a microcontroller board, and as you can see the microcontroller is right here. It is equipped with a 25 megahertz processor, 128 kilobytes of flash storage, and 8 kilobytes of RAM. It also has a USB 2.0 compatible port right here, micro USB, and two LED lights right here that can be programmed, and two buttons right here that can also be programmed. It also has two other buttons up here which actually can't be programmed. There are this is the restart button, and this is the bootstrap loader button. Over here, you can just take a closer look at the launch pad itself. And now we'll get into the Energia open source platform. First, we'll have to plug in this micro USB cable in this port right here and connect it to the computer. As we get started here, you can see that the green light, the green LED is on, so that shows us that the launch pad is connected. After you plug the launch pad into your computer, you will first want to load up Energia right here. And from there, you the first things you want to make sure that you have done is go to tools, go to board and make sure launchpad with MSP430 F5529 25 megahertz is checked because this is the model that we are using right now and also go to serial port and make sure the one with the bigger number is checked right here from there we will get started first you'll have to update your programmer just to make sure that nothing goes wrong and then we'll go to file Examples, Basics, Blink. Here is the new window that shows up. This is the code that is written for the launch pad to turn on and off the LED. So if we upload this right here to the launch pad, we can see the red LED flicker on and off and this is all done through the code right here that you can see the 1000 right here and the 1000 right here shows how long the LED flashes on and how long the LED flashes off high means how long it will be on low means how long it would be off that 1000 represents 1000 milliseconds so if we change this to 100 and this to 100 let's see what we'll get click upload to put it into the launch pad sorry I'm getting a little error message we'll try uploading again Now when you see the LED, it is flashing much faster. It flashes 10 times every second. And this is all because we, are, we changed the 1000 to 100. So with this, we can actually make the light steady and change the numbers to something really small so that we can't tell whether the light is flickering or not. And with this function, you can also dim the light to whatever value you choose. So first, I will show how to make a steady light or a light that seems very steady. We'll put 5 for both. This represents 5 milliseconds for it to be on 
in five milliseconds for this to be off. We'll upload it. So I'm getting another error. Okay, let's upload it. We'll try uploading again. And with that, we get a steady LED light just staying on. This is actually flickering on and off really fast, but it's going so fast that we cannot tell. And let right now I will show you how to make the the LED either change the dimness or the brightness of the LED. Here. Let's actually change this to one and we'll change this to nine so it can be much dim much more dimmer so that you can tell. Now as you can see on the launch pad the LED is much more dim. So with these this these small functions right here we can actually do much more. I mentioned that the launch pad has two LEDs, one red one and one green one. And with that you can actually turn both of them on, turn both of them on and off and both of them flicker. So in another window I will show you the different uh, the different lights turning on and off. First this actually this code shows that both of the lights will be on except one of them will be dimmer than the other. So from here as you can see before the other one had LED written over here right here LED and even though both of the lights are LEDs, the number is represents the each different LED because if you just put LED right here, you don't know whether it's going to be the green one or the red one. So these numbers are actually representative for those two LED lights over there. You can actually get the entire list of these numbers, the abbreviated numbers, if you go to Energia and by going to the launch pad that we have right here which is the MSP 430 F5529 if we go here and scroll down you can click here and you'll get a large list and these numbers actually correspond to which pin you want to use so instead of using those numbers in the pamphlet you can also use these numbers over here and if we scroll down you can see where I got the red LED and the green LED 43 and 44 so right now we will upload this sorry I'm getting another error Let's try again. As you can see now, one, both of the LEDs are on. The red one is very bright while the green one is very dim. And this is seen because 44 is for the green LED and high is on. So if the LED is on for one millisecond, and it's off for nine milliseconds that is it just it creates an illusion that makes it dimmer and with the other one it's nine and one which makes it brighter it's not the it's not completely bright but it is has 90 percent brightness and that is how to use Energia for dimming the LEDs or flickering them on and off thanks for watching